Hi, my name is Ben Ivey from ivydesign.net and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a sunburst effect using Adobe Illustrator. These are starting to become really trendy and they're actually very very simple to create. So let's get started. I've got a blank canvas open for, with me and so let's choose our rectangle tool get us a color and we're just going to create some different varying width rectangles moving across our screen. You can have them um, all your rectangular stripes the same width and the same distance apart. It really doesn't matter, but just for the sake of making them look good, I'm going to vary everything up. Go real quick, we'll make a copy of that one. Very good. So you want to have kind of a, a barcode effect going on. Once you have all these rectangles created, we're going to select them and group them together. And I'm going to go to Object, down to Envelope Distort, and Make with Warp. And the one you're going to choose is the Arc Warp. I'm going to reset everything and watch what happens when I hit Preview. The Arc is going to actually arch out the design that you've created. Once you bring your bend all the way up to 100%, the next thing, you're going to move your vertical down to negative 100%. And it will bend your creation all the way in so you get this very nice fan-like effect that creates that nice sunburst. So you've got the top half of your sunburst. If you wanted to create one that went all the way around, it's simply a matter. I'm going to go ahead and expand this of copying it and flipping it around and sticking it down at the bottom. There you have a very, very quick and easy sunburst created all in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, some extra things you can do if you'll grab your lasso tool and s select just the center points of your sunburst. So now when I create or select my rotation tool, I can click and drag and it gives this swirly type pattern, it gives it uh, almost a peppermint type look to it. Let's go ahead and scale that down. I think that looks pretty good. If you needed to square off this area, it's simply a matter of selecting your rectangle tool and selecting the area that you wanted to square off. Since the rectangle is on top, I can now highlight everything and hit Option F7 to create a layer mask and everything else is masked out around it. And that's how you create a very simple sunburst effect tool using Adobe Illustrator. Let's go ahead and give it a background, give it a little punch to go with it. Make that gradient uh, radial. Very good. Anywho, my name is Ben Ivey from ivydesign.net.